welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Ruby Kate, a young but passionate knitter and crocheter. You can find all of the links to my various social media platforms in the description box below, as well as a link to my very own website, which is super exciting and though still a work in progress, is there and has so many posts and things like that available for you to enjoy. So I hope you go over and check it out if you haven't already. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, I would love it if you took a moment to do that. You can click the subscribe button and then click the little bell right next to it so that you can know each and every time I upload a new video. I am thrilled to be back with you guys today talking about a brand new pattern release. This is the Kylum Cowl. So this is a knit cowl. It is the cowl companion to the Kylum messy bun beanie that I designed earlier this year and I just love this little set so much. So this is the second part of the set. You can find the patterns separately in my Ravelry um, and Etsy shops but this cowl is knit bottom up and I'm gonna take it off so that I can show you in full what it looks like. So you start here at the bottom and working up like this you do a one by one rib for the little border, go into the texture pattern, and then finish off with some more one by one rib and then the bind off. So there's a couple things that I want to talk about. First of all, the word kylum is Latin for sky or heaven, and that is just the word that comes to mind when I look at this pattern. Just the color, the texture, the squishiness reminds me of clouds. Um, I just love it so much. I think it's beautiful. It's so, so simple. If you like doing one by one rib, but you don't like love it, or if you don't like the repetitiveness of it, this is the perfect project for you. It is so simple, so beginner friendly. It is the perfect um, opportunity to learn a one by one rib or just to practice it in a project that you can really wear and enjoy once it's finished. And I just love it for those reasons. So these samples, both the hat and the cowl, um, again, the cowl is the brand new pattern. The beanie has been released for a while now, um, but the both the cowl and the um, beanie use I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, there are so many other great options. One that I would like to try soon is Twill from Knit Picks. I think would be so gorgeous in this pattern. Um, another one is, I believe it's called Kelborn Germantown. I actually have a stain of it right here. Let me get it out and show you. Um, I think Kelborn is right. Yes, Kelborn Woolens Germantown. You can find this on Knit Picks as well. There is a color that is very similar to this color that I would really love to use for this pattern. Um, but I think this is another great option, and I will include links to both of those yarns in the description box below, so you can check those out and try them out if you so desire. Of course, there are so many other yarns you can use. You just need a worsted weight yarn. Super, super simple. Now, a little bit about the pattern itself. So, it is written in such a way that it is row by row, and you can follow along exactly how it's written, and you will result in a beautiful cowl. However, if you would like your cowl to be larger in circumference, so say you, instead of wanting, um, instead of a single loop, you wanted to be able to wrap it around your neck twice, you can absolutely do that. All you want is a stitch count that is multiple of two. So I recommend that you cast on a certain amount, but you can increase that by multiples of two and the stitch pattern will work just as well. So you can try that out if you would like it to be larger in circumference. If you want it to be deeper, so if you want it to be thicker so that it can really, you know, squish up and keep you warm, um, or if you want it to be narrower, if you were going to wrap it around multiple times, you can decrease or increase the um, pattern repeat in between the ribbing sections. And that's going to make a lot more sense once you open up the pattern and look at it yourself. Um, of course, if you ever have any questions, you can always message me on any of my platforms. I have all of that information in the pattern as well. Now, one other thing that I quickly wanted to talk about. So this is very similar to my Genesis cowl pattern. And one of the things that I love about that pattern is if you have like one skin of yarn that you have been holding for so long and you're just always sure what you want to make with it, but you want to use all of it in one project. I have been there. I have done that. 
And I know that it can be frustrating when you are trying to make a project and you want to use all of it, but then it calls for you to do ribbing and you don't know how much yarn that's going to take. Again, I've been there. I understand your confusion, but I have a simple, simple solution that I really want to share with you. So all you have to do is cast on exactly like the pattern tells you to knit the ribbing portion before you go into this body section and then weigh just the ribbing. So say I had a 100 gram skein of yarn. I'm going to cast on and knit just my ribbing. Now say the ribbing took 15 grams. So that means that I have 85 grams left in my skein of yarn. I'm going to need another 15 of those to do the top ribbing. And then I can use the remaining grams to knit all of the body. And that way you use all of your yarn. Now, one thing that I always, always recommend and that I highly encourage you to do is to not play yarn chicken. If you like stressful games, yarn chicken is the perfect one for you. But personally, I do not like stressful games. So I recommend giving yourself a gram, maybe even two grams of leeway. So if this ribbing took me 15 grams and I want to use my entire skein, I am only going to go until I reach about 80 grams of the body. And then I'm going to do the ribbing. That's going to give me just a few yards left, most likely. But you can always weave that in and then cut it and throw the rest away. Or if you like to use every single bit of that skein of yarn, you can make a little scrappy blanket like I am. Or any of those other options for those scraps. And so that is just a simple way to ensure that you can use your the maximum amount of yarn as possible. Again, if you found that a little bit confusing, please don't hesitate to message me. It's a simple concept, but it's really such a good one to learn because it will teach you to implement those same techniques in future projects. And that is so, so helpful. I use my um, postage scale to weigh my projects all of the time, especially with designing. It is so helpful to just weigh a swatch and know how much yarn I'm going to need and things like that. And so I highly recommend learning this technique. If you would like to know more information about it, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do a separate video all about it because, again, I really want to share as much information as I can with y'all. So that is a little bit of info about this cowl. I hope you are as excited about it as I am. If you use the code COWL, at checkout, you can get the pattern for free on Ravelry and Etsy for a limited time only. Super, super simple. I wanted to keep this code simple. I was wanting to be a little bit fancy and do the word Kylum, but I didn't want anybody to have trouble with this coupon code. So just use the code, just use the word, excuse me, COWL, C-O-W-L, and you can get the pattern for free. Be sure to check out the coordinating messy bun beanie. I love this little set and I really, really hope to put out more things in this little collection in the future because, again, I just love the texture and the name and everything about it so much. So I will include links to the yarn substitutions that I gave earlier in this video as well as the links to the pattern in my other social media platforms in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Bye!